Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Just me this morning. We've had a lot of guests come through in the past few days. It is political season. We had Miss Ivy Graham yesterday. We had uh, Mr. Gary Frog Talbert in the afternoon last Friday. We had Mr. Buddy Mincy last Friday morning. We had Mr. Steve McDaniel last Thursday morning. Coming up, we've got Mr. Jeff Ard on Thursday morning, and we also have Mr. Rogers Pope on Friday morning. Trying to steal down uh, a couple other candidates as we uh, roll through the early voting period at the moment. We'll talk more about that in a little bit, but we appreciate you joining us this morning if you're watching us live. If you are listening to this later on or watching the video later on, we appreciate that too. Please remember we post all of these shows to www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We are working with our web provider to split them out so that you can check out all the morning shows in a row, all the afternoon shows in a row, and all the podcasts in a row so we don't get them all mixed up and jumbled together since we've produced so many so far. So that's a, that's a good problem to have. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We'd appreciate you checking us out there. We are also moved to once a week in print <clears throat> Excuse me, on Thursdays. It's our magazine style. It'll be $56 a year or $7 a month for the magazine. It comes straight to your mailbox. Uh, we will uh, extend those folks who bought a $99 subscription. You will get 26 issues extended onto the end of your renewal period. So please don't worry about that. Traffic today, it's a pretty normal day. Uh, delays aren't as bad, though, on I-12 heading westbound. Minor delays at Denham Springs and I-12, extending just about to O'Neill Lane. Heavy delays uh, on Highway 16 or Range Avenue by Denham Springs High School. Massive delays on Hatchell and uh, <clears throat> Cockrum Road, uh, just north of this office, actually, as uh, folks are getting into school. Minor delays on 64 heading into Central, and also minor delays on River Road and, excuse me, clicking the pin, on River Road and 190 heading into Baton Rouge. So not too terrible, you know, normal traffic patterns today, but nothing too heavy. So it's, it's a good sign. It's currently 72 degrees, high of 93. There's rumors that we'll um, get some cooler weather next week, and, and, and we're, our weather provider is forecasting that. Looking like uh, starting next Monday, uh, lows in the low 60s at night. Now, that's at night. We'll get up to the mid-80s during the day. This week, though, highs in the 90s, lows in the low 70s, upper 60s. So not too bad. Still lovely evenings. Uh, yesterday, of course, we had a guest. We didn't get to get into a whole lot of the headlines. Uh, we did discuss the fact that uh, former state senator Clo Fontenot did pass away uh, in, over the weekend in a car accident that is still under uh, investigation. Please keep his family in your thoughts. Uh, also a daycare uh, runner from Livingston uh, got into a domestic dispute over the weekend. Uh, unfortunately, that did end in her death. Uh, they're still, war they have found a suspect. Uh, they're still investigating that. The sheriff's office is a uh, pretty rough weekend. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, we forgot to mention yesterday, uh, Dakota McDade uh, from Walker is still missing. It's a 14-year-old who is a freshman high student. Please be on the lookout for her. If you have a tip, you can call uh, the Walker Police Department. So we discussed earlier that we are in the midst of early voting. Uh, on Saturday, almost 1,700 in Livingston Parish early voted. Uh, many people were going through the new Dim Springs Walker Branch Library satellite location that was also utilized in the spring, but they're expecting a little more traffic um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, during this voting period as it is a little more, uh, it's more than just mosquito abatement. Uh, so it will be interesting to see what the full early voting totals come out to be. Uh, it runs through the early voting period, it runs through this Saturday, October 5th. Uh, every open every day from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I don't have to worry about, you, you couldn't vote Sunday, but now it just, it runs through Saturday. If you go to the library uh, between 8.30 and 9 or after 5, you need to go in the back door. Uh, you cannot go in the front, of course, because they closed the library. So please remember, early voting running through this Saturday, October 5th, 
8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, you can either go to the Dem Springs Walker Branch Library or the Registrar of Voters Office. So please, please go ahead and early vote. The $53 million cleanup of Hornsby Creek is moving along pretty well. Uh, as of September 16th, which was about two weeks ago, uh, they had started moving north of Highway 1019. Uh, that project will be wrapping up uh, shortly. Those are NRCS funds, which are conservation funds. Uh, it was a $53 million project. The parish will be on the hook for $5.3 million. Mun municipal sales tax collection is up following a parish trend, about 9% year over year. If you want to read about all the, uh, it, they're up. If you really want to read about all the individual numbers on which city did what, you can check that out, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash news. Uh, the Delmas Taylor building, which was uh, the new assessor's building in Livingston, was dedicated on Friday. It would have been Mr. Delmas's birthday that day as well. He is the Delmas is the father of current assessor Jeff Taylor. Uh, so there was a party there, and kind of tour of the building. Uh, it's a brand brand spanking new building out there in Livingston. Very beautiful. A uh, lot of um, a lot of things going on there. A lot of uh, things passing through the assessor's office. So there's a lot of different sections to it. Uh, but they're, you know, the, the front lobby is very nice. Uh, the whole office itself is very nice. The grounds are very nice. Uh, you can check out photos from that in a little write up at www.livingstonparishnews.com or it will also be in this Thursday's paper. Now, uh, they did come in under budget, even though they had some change orders and things like that. So that was a uh, that was good to hear, uh, you know, roughly a few hundred thousand under budget. So that was, uh, was good on them. And it's a, as mentioned, it is a beautiful new building out there in Livingston. So please go give it a, a check and, um, you know, you can, don't go harass them about your property taxes. Those poor ladies up front don't, don't handle that, but they will try to help you. So please visit the assessor's office. It is now I failed to mention it is uh, on the cam same campus as the parish council building, uh, the DMV, the courthouse. It's right up there in the front, uh, right there on Highway 63. So uh, one more time, the Delmas Taylor building was dedicated on Friday. Uh, beautiful new building. Please go check it out. A couple of college announcements from uh, local students over, over the weekend, kind of rolling out today. Uh, Lane Thomas, formerly of Walker, is going to be going to Tulane. And Kate Thompson of Denham Springs will be going to Wisconsin. So that's uh, it's kind of an interesting deal there. You, you don't hear about players going to Wisconsin often. So congratulations on breaking the mold. And congratulations to both of them for continuing their playing uh, careers. We didn't get to talk about football either. Please remember that we now sit down <clears throat> on Wednesdays and record a uh, long-form podcast after we get all of our interviews and stuff done with these coaches uh, and myself and William uh, Weathers and Rob DeArmond sit down and talk about the week prior and what's coming up for these teams. Uh, Friday, Walker beat Landry Walker on the road. Live Oak also on the road beat Kentwood. Denham fall, fell to Assumption after Assumption roared back late in the game. Albany fell to De Quincey. Tough trip there. And Springfield fell to Pearl River. Uh, so those were your results from Friday. Didn't get to talk about them yesterday. Uh, we will be recording that show tomorrow, and it will come out uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Thursday afternoon for your viewing pleasure, I suppose. Or, or it may not be your viewing pleasure. <laughs> you may be looking at it to make fun of us. Uh, Lane Hardy returned. He had his homecoming uh, bash on Saturday, uh, first day of early voting. But it, it didn't stop people from hitting the polls, but there sure were a lot of people in North Park. Uh, it was a crazy show. It was put on by uh, Mr. Scott Ennis and Mr. Kobe Rosenthal. Uh, just a lot of people went out there. Long day of music. It was hot, but a lot of people said, you know, it was hot, but I had fun. Uh, Lane came on late in the evening. The temperature dropped. Had a lot of fun that night. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Mr. David Gray and Mr. Jonathan Malis were out there taking photos. Uh, and Mr. David Gray did a pretty good write-up uh, of the of the situation and how Lane felt about coming home and that sort of thing, you can check it out, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash living. One more time around the bend with your traffic today. Uh, delays are starting to stack up at the Denham Springs exit, nearly reaching Jubin at this point. Uh, traffic getting heavy at Jubin Road and uh, that would be 190, Highway 190. Uh, 
Looks like things are clearing out around the high school. However, Hatchell Lane in Denham Springs is still pretty backed up. Uh, traffic moving out of Watson as folks drop their kids off at Live Oak High School. Uh, heavy delays at 64 heading into Central and heavy delays 190 4H Club Road and River Road. Minor delays after the 10-12 split. So I spoke too soon earlier. A reminder that it is going to get cool next week. Uh, it, cooler temperatures tonight but uh, and overnight for the week. But leading into next week, early week, it's going to be week, week, week. Leading into next week, early week, it's going to be... Uh, in the low 60s at night so prepare yourselves for that it will be in the mid 80s during the week a reminder that we have jay rogers pope coming on the show this friday we have mr jeff ard a candidate for parish council district one will be on uh, the show this thursday also mr rogers pope is running for state senate district 13. we're trying to hammer down some other clients uh, get them to come on the show, so we hope we can present that for you as well. Please remember, you can check these shows out, www.livingsparishnews.com backslash podcast. They are free. Uh, you can listen to the audio or watch a video if you so choose. It's up to you. Uh, we appreciate it either way. We are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. Appreciate you giving us likes, shares, follows on those platforms as we disseminate all this content to all these different places. Again, one more time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this morning here on Tuesday, and I'm going to check out, and either Mr. David Gray or Mr. Drew Walker will be in the booth this afternoon. We hope you have a great Tuesday.